MBK React. Hey yo, welcome back to MBK React. No joking. No joking. Bring you guys episode number twelve in season two of Classroom of the Elite. Last episode, Kawanji and Ryun. They talk. Ryun's like, "Are you the mastermind?" Kawanji's like, "No, I'm just doing my own thing. I I literally don't care about the future of our class." <laughs> he literally said that word to word. I don't care about the future of our class. I'm only doing this for me. Ruin's like, oh, this guy's twisted, but not my type of twisted, so he's good. Ah. Then he told Horikita, hey, I broke down the mastermind, like, who I thought it was, really good today. And now it seems like he's on the move. He called Kay up and said, hey, come here. I know you've been bullied, so if you don't tell me who the mastermind is, I'm going to bully the hell out of you and expose the truth. Why did she go she up there by herself? <laughs> she, she didn't want to get exposed yet, so. Not called coach. I don't got coach. But uh, that's the that. thing. He don't, he probably don't even got a number anymore. <laughs> but he did. So he yeah. He was safe, he was and Adam Koji, he's over here having the time of his life, enjoying his life as a student, not worried about anything at all. He so he has his own friend group too. Yeah, he has his own little old, old, Adam Koji group. So we're about to jump to episode <laughs> number 12. This is about to be a good episode. So you know, if you like to have a hundred likes, like, comment, the bell for our custom leak playlist so you can know if I will do videos next. Full reaction on Patreon. I thought I'm going to get full reaction to this and many other shows. Come on. <laughs> お前は黒巻に見捨てられたのか。いや、そう。天井。なぜ平戸に呼び出されたお前。え、何言ってんの。まだ別に現れたって。うん。分かってるぞ。あ、ちょっと。おお。そう。ウェイウェイ。<笑
Get off of me. Oh, 
てると思ったらまた、えー、<笑>この場ではお前が勝つかもなだが明日は明後日はどうだ繰り返せばいずれ勝てるとなあ四六時中どこからでも狙ってやれ<笑>負けることが怖くないのか<笑>恐怖なんて俺にはないのさ一度も感じたことがない恐怖というやつは恐怖一体紙一重の世界にありやがるこの世界は暴力によって支配されているこの世の実力は暴力の強さで決まるこの悟りを覆すような存在があるとするならならその痛みってやつを教えてもらおうかわん<笑>望んだいくらでもな How you feel about Anna Kochi? How he literally just broke someone's face and make them fear life itself, and he doesn't care at all. I think he's a goat. I think it's Great the fact. Character. I think it's the fact that ruining the whole, that whole time was playing or betting on the fact that Anna Kochi actually had some type of sense of emotion, and he was trying to drag that out of Anna Kochi, and he realized that it wasn't there when he saw when he was literally punching him, and he was going through his whole spiel about. Like trying to get out the enemy coach, you're like, are you punching me because you're mad, angry, sad? And then he just looked at him with those dead eyes and said, What are you, what are you talking about? I'm nothing this point. That's what I said, bro. He's literally a robot. That makes sense. Oh, what? He's <laughs> a robot. So, so what? Boring. What could have happened in the white room where it would affect you to the point where you literally don't feel emotion and 
punch you someone's face in that repeated that long repeatedly. First off, it had, it had to be tortured the nigga. Okay. Mental, physical, and emotional. And it had to been since he was like, not even just a toddler. Like that had to start. Man, he was a baby. Like, like you're not even crying. Yeah, that. you're not even like. No, I'm not. Not out the womb, but you're not even crying. Honestly, I don't know, cause like. Is he a winter soldier? It might, that's what I'm saying. I think he's gen, like I think they're genetically like. But if they were genetically made like that, he wouldn't be the only one that's outstanding like that. Because if you can make it, because the dad even said, like, out of all my positions, you're the most outstanding yeah. one. So if they was genetically making him, wouldn't they just all make him like a Koji? Or obviously, it can't be possible. So I think it is. Yeah, but that goes to my that goes to my thing. That goes to my my theory. While I was saying, I I. Uh, Aina Koji was why Aina Koji ended up leaving, or because he was because he was one he was that one where uh, the dad didn't want to sell him. Like he was selling all these genetically modified like children, and they were exceptional. But Aina Koji came I and mean, he was like on a whole nother level, like not even on the same thing. So that's what I was thinking. Like oh, and this hell remember our early theory? We had a theorized that he like messed up on his test scores to get in class D. You know, it was like he probably got himself in class D for a reason. Yeah, but that's not that wasn't the case. But it's more of a like a, a, a flip on it is like instead of him purposely doing the test scores like that, what if like the chairman purposely put him in class D? But I don't even know. Like I can't even think of a theory. Why would the chairman put him in class D? I get what you're saying. Like why would he put him in class D if he knew what he was? Right. Right. He knew he. But was. that contradict. Contradicts the argument, basically saying like uh, Anna Koji was doing those, getting those test results on purpose to, right. to get into class D. Or, but it's not based on. So I think it was the chairman because remember it's the how the recommendation for the like it's not based right. on like test scoring. Yeah, so what is the recommendation for classes now? Like what is the now? Okay, you just recommended me Anna Koji. Okay, cool. Anna Koji is gonna get everything. Yeah, well, we'll okay, okay, class and what A B C D uh, D. Yeah, really? Yeah, like, it can't be random. That's what I'm saying. It can't be. They everything they doing is for a reason, right? Horikita, Koji say for a reason. Sudo in that class for a reason. But Koshina in that class for a reason. But they Horikita, all have some type of connection. Bro, that's another them. thing, bro. That, another character is Horikita, bro. Because like, then I and Koji have a deal with her her brother, saying I'll get your. Yeah, yeah, we just found that out this episode. Yeah, that's what I'm, and that's what I was saying, bro. Like, and you can see it too. Like he like. As the show went, as the show kept going on, you could see he was basically like, like not like teaching her, but like you know like dropping her hints and stuff. And like, and now the last scheme went on, and Koji didn't even have to intervene because, like, because she was doing it all on her own. Like she got the whole plan. She was there. She thought about it even before that. So, <laughs> but I don't know. I just That's why I'm last saying, last huh? I just gotta watch the last episode. No, I can't. I can't do it. Yeah. Any more questions, bro? Uh, yeah, did you see the guy that I was watching the whole time? Hmm? I'm just playing. <laughs> Alright, so that was the end of episode 12 of Classroom Elite. As you can see, they got a lot of stuff to say about the coach, about how he literally does have no emotion. He's like, he, he going like that. That's why I've been saying he's better than middle player than light and all that. And uh, my boy in Tomodachi game, uh, uh, yeah, they never even watched it there, my no, Yeah. Huh? <laughs> so you know, huh? yeah. It's a <laughs> so you know the people like type comment, like type comment. Turn your bell on, ring notifications. I'm gonna upload a video. You better than the Lelouch. Oh hell yeah! It's killing the nicest. It's killing the nicest. Huh? I gotta rewatch. Hell nah.